Revit Automation. Hello, welcome you in Revit Dynamo Automation with me, Series. In this series of video, we are going to learn Dynamo Revit from scratch from very basics to intermediate levels so you can create Dynamo Script Automation or Repetitive Task Automation inside Dynamo Revit. And as nowadays, Dynamo Revit Automation is very essential for Revit Modeler. The series is specially made for Revit Modeler so that making Dynamo scripts should get easier for them and they can move easily forward in their career. As Video Vault is opening, you can subscribe for such videos. Thus, this series video is going is to be a total free series of videos, so don't need to bother about anything and just sit and relax and chill. And you're going to get an expert in Revit Dynamo Automation. Now, moving toward main topic, in this video, we are going to cover importance of Dynamo Automation in Revit. We are going to see how to open sample Revit project, so then we can do some automation practice work in that. After that, we are moving forward to understand what is Dynamo and how this work, and we're gonna see an interface of Dynamo. In the next video, we are going to move forward with node explanation and starting simple scripts in Dynamo. So without wasting any more further time, let's get started. So let's move forward to importance of a Dynamo. Dynamo in Revit. So nowadays, as you can see, a lot of Revit modeler jobs, the requirement is not only for modeler tasks, but for a little bit of automation also so that they can make a repetitive task easily and in less time. They should have to know how to run a Dynamo script because they're going to do that in every projects in Revit nowadays. So when you go to the LinkedIn and type a Dynamo Revit there and just hit enter, you're going to see this type of automation the peoples are doing inside Revit. And you can also see a lot of vacancies are there which are related to that. A lot of people are doing a lot of automations and the Revit modeler which know the automation also are going to be preferred given preference in the job. So that's what we can expect from Dynamo Revit. Let's move forward to how you're going to work in Dynamo Revit. So let's say in the Revit, when you open any project, you go here in the architecture. So let's get to introduce you to sample Revit files. A lot of you already know like Revit already have given a sample Revit file to get to know like what is the model and what we can model inside Revit. So how you can get this a sample file. So to open a sample file, go to the file and just go to the open here. And when you browse down here, you can get a sample Revit file. Just when you click it, one folder will appear in which all the Revit sample files has been saved. Now in this screen background window, you are seeing this sample file. So this sample file is Snowden Tower sample architecture file. So you can open it and let's get started now. So what we can do in Dynamo. Now I will select this. If you see her in this YouTube channel, you can see one video is there for the automation of painting of system families. Let me isolate this element. Now, if you want to paint some wall or any equipment and you want to paint to its all surfaces with same material, and if you go to the paint here and you paint select a paint, it will paint a selected surfaces only. Now you can see there are a lot of surfaces in this wall, but if you want to paint it from all sides, and if you can see there are a lot of walls with the same type, and you want to paint all these walls, so you have to select all the surfaces while painting it. But now with the Dynamo script, you can just select it, create a Dynamo script for getting the surfaces, and just run the Dynamo script. 
All the paint has been given to all the walls with all its surfaces. So I'm not going to show that script here, but we are just getting started so you can check it out in the channel. So this type of thing you can create some intricate structure like this for jolly walls, and you can create some intricate structure for tunnels or bridge etc. You can fetch the information from Excel to any Revit element, and you can view the export information of any parameter from Revit to Excel. So you can check it out, there are a lot of videos already on my channel. So let's not get waste your time. So this is what we can do with Dynamo. So where is Dynamo? Okay, how you can open the Dynamo add-in. It's from 2020 Revit. It's already installed in Revit. While you install Revit, you already get that add-in. So now when you go to the Manage tab, and you go to the right-hand side here and click this Dynamo, One window will appear, this is a Dynamo add-in. So this is an interface of Dynamo. Now we'll see one by one with this, all these tabs you can do inside a Dynamo. So now here first tab is Dynamo. So if you click here, it will tell you what is the version of Dynamo. And some license, privacy, etc. You can see here, okay. In this agreement of collection of data, you can manage some how to engage this. Or if you want to share some data for, for the development of Dynamo, you can click here and you can continue. going forward the preferences. So this is our preferences as a language preferences, and I will just tell you some important things. Okay. So this is a number format. You can set a decimal point here, maximum number of recent files that are going to show. If you are just dealing with this from 0 0.00001 to 100 millimeters, you can select a small. So just, just like which unit you are dealing with, that should be in this range. inside Dynamo. Here this will show the node packages and for package file location, which we install inside Dynamo. This is a file path for trusted file locations where we can open Dynamo script. So this is our first tab. Now moving toward the second tab. 
A new this will open a workspace for creating a script, and this will open a workplace for creating custom node. This will show us recent files, and this will import some libraries. Just skip this one now. We will see it later. Now, if you go to edit, it's a create node. If you want to create a new node, but it's not useful for now. Now, go to the zoom in and pan this all zoom in. important is the package manager. If you want to install any new packages, you can go here and install any new packages. What is the packages? I will be explaining that to you in further videos. This extension I will show you after opening some script. Okay, so just go here if you want to create a new script, just you can go here in the file and you can click on new and you can click on home workspace or you can directly click here from your new here and the new workspace to open and if you click here open it will take you to some path where the dynamo scripts are located so let's just open some dynamo script here for reference purpose drop-down will appear and something appears here. So show document browser. If you click on document browser, it will show you some information about it. It's not very important to us, for now we don't need it. So graph mode manager. Okay, this is a little bit important. It will showing us which nodes we have used in our graph. Now go here and workspace references. If you click on workspace references, this user interface will appear. It is showing which packages, external packages we have used in this script. So this much of the external packages we have used in this script. Now here if you click on the graph properties, but we haven't given any graph properties to this, but if someone has given it, we'll show here. Graph status. No, issue nothing. Graphs hasn't been run. Now if the graph is run, then some error will be there, will appear here. So that's this thing with extensions now. Now this is about this all tabs. Now we are going towards the workspace. So this is a workspace of Dynamo, where we're gonna create a Dynamo graph actually. So what is a dynamo is a series of nodes which connect to one another in a flowchart way so that one node is run and it creates some output and that output has been transferred to another node which do some operation on that and as per its function it will give us output and then the output will go to the further node and whichever output you want that we get is the last output node. So you can save that output to the Excel or you have done some operation that operation will reflect in your Revit model or you created something that will be shown inside a rivet like this. So move toward a workspace once more. So this is a workspace in which we are going to create a rivet graph. And if you see on the right side of workspace, there is a library. So this is a very important thing. Show you. 
node from here. When you click on it, the node will appear here in the graph. So if you can also search the nodes directly from here, this is dictionary library take. Node from it. If you want to do some geometry operation geometry library. If you want to create some bounding boxes, curves, or meshes, and afterward, you're going to import that inside a Revit itself. First, you have to understand here, this is a Dynamo plugin, and this is a Revit. First of all, something we're going to create inside a Dynamo itself, and we're going to import it to a Revit, or something we have already built up in a Revit. We can import that to the Dynamo, and we will do some operation, and we get some desired output from that. There are three types of node. So this type of node, which, which has a plus sign, is used to create something. If you want to create something, or you want to do some operations, this node is there. You create something, an object, or a curve, etc. So if the plus sign is there, so that is for creation. If this lightning sign is there, that is for doing some operation on already created objects that should be a curve, etc. Plus means it will create a new object. Lightning will do some operations on created objects. And this is a query node to get some information from the already created objects. Okay, so this is how the library hierarchy for node is present in Dynamo Revit. This workpiece, which you're going to build a Revit node, and this is a library from which you're getting this node to build the graph. So this is an overview of Dynamo, and in the next video, we're going to see what are these nodes? What are the properties of nodes? What is the input of nodes? Output of node? And we're going to just create one simple Dynamo graph. Thank you for seeing the video, and see you in the next video.